Since the dawn of human existence, people have been eating a lot of things, but fruit juice probably wasn't one of them. No, most of the time we probably preferred to eat whole fruits that we found in the wild, or that we grew after learning the ways of agriculture. But sometime around the 1920s, orange farms in Florida started pumping out excess amounts of oranges. Surprisingly, before the widespread use of synthetic pesticides and whatever else is sprayed on crops these days. There needed to be a solution to the mountains of oranges piling up in storage, so the oranges were juiced, the juice was depulped, and then pasteurized for long-term storage. Yes, that's right, for storage. Pasteurization is widely known in terms of milk, but the process of heating fluids to kill off microbes was actually invented to prevent types of lactic acid bacteria from over-colonizing yeast in beer and wine. Similarly, the principle was then applied to milk from industrialized dairy farms that unavoidably comes into contact with pathogenic bacteria. So what's up with orange juice? Has anyone died from eating an orange? Or drinking orange juice? The short answer is no, but there's increasing concern that orange juice and fruit juice in general could be increasing the general risk of death by about 24%. A very vague statement, but the increase in potential mortality isn't from bacteria in the juice, it's from the sugar. Which makes the pasteurization of orange juice even more strange. The pasteurization of orange juice is mostly to kill enzymes in the juice that metabolize the pectin that cause the juice to separate or become clear over time. A process known as cloud loss. By killing off these enzymes, the orange juice can be processed, depulped, and stored in freezers for a prolonged period of time. The pasteurized, processed orange juice is then reconstituted and flavor packs are added to restore the flavor of the juice, which decreases during storage. So, the short answer of why orange juice is pasteurized is that something needs to be done with the excess oranges. So they essentially strip away the rind, pulp, and enzymes, leaving behind water, sugar, and maybe some vitamin C, and a fraction of the flavor that a fresh orange would have. In other words, although orange juice is often touted as a healthy choice in the morning due to its vitamin C content, the reality is that processed orange juice is essentially sugar water with flavor packets and vitamin fortification. And even fresh squeezed orange juice lacks the fiber of the fruit that your body needs to fully benefit from the nutrients in the juice. Having a glass of orange juice in the morning, even freshly squeezed, causes a blood sugar spike and subsequent crash. It's basically the same as drinking a soda or any other sugar-laden beverage. Since most oranges today are farmed in Brazil, China, and the EU, global demand for orange juice means that it needs to be processed before being stored and shipped, meaning that pasteurization is a necessary step in the processing of this product. Given the questionable health benefits of consuming a beverage that contains sugar isolated from its natural fiber and enzymes, it sounds a lot healthier to eat locally grown oranges whole or any fruit really, rather than juicing them. Keeping this in mind, pasteurizing orange juice sounds like a strange practice if the end product has almost no nutritional benefit or can potentially cause harm. 